okay so in this video we'll be talking about translational mechanical system transfer functions we are on the previous video we talk about um, uh, electrical system no? electrical network transfer function so now we will go to trans translational mechanical system transfer function okay so we have this table of the component and its respective force velocity and force displace displacement as well as impedance of our components or mechanical components so first we have this one no we have a maybe i will just get first my laser pointer here so we have a spring no so a spring then we have here this one this is our i know um x of t no x of t so the force velocity so that is the um f of t is equals to k which is your k is still your spring constant so we leave uh, with the integral of v of t so your v of t is velocity d tau no this is not t but tau so that. then uh, tau stands for the period no? or the reciprocal of our frequency or uh, the total time no? of travel so from we limits from t to zero then we have for force displacement so we have f of t is equal to k x of t no and the impedance is just the spring constant or um k then we have the viscous damper so the viscous damper so we have here this is the force no then we have here the coefficient of uh, viscosity no this one then this is the distance or the displacement so f of t is equals to uh, the uh, f sub v then the velocity in terms of time or v of t then the force displacement um relationship is f of t is equals to v f uh, sub v uh, this is uh, then the the derivative no of the displacement in terms of time which is also in terms of velocity no this is this is this is still velocity no v of t because velocity is the derivative of or the first derivative of our displacement then we have f of, of sub vs that is our impedance then for the mass no for the mass we have here this is the displacement this is the force so f of t is equals to the derivative of our velocity no so if you are going to uh, to get no the force in a mass no force in a mass so by newton's law no that is um, mass times acceleration so our acceleration is the first derivative of our velocity then we have here the force displacement so the mass is the second uh, derivative of our displacement and our impedance is ms squared so all of this no f of this one this one is just to get the force no? this this one also just to get the force this one and this one so we are getting here the transfer function of our um, given system in terms of uh, force so either velocity in terms of force or displacement in terms of force no okay so how we are going to do that no so we will just have here some notes no so first we need to um we need to note no note that k will be uh, k is the spring constant no like what i said a little a while ago so spring k is a spring constant our f sub v that is our coefficient no? coefficient of so that will be the coefficient of our viscous damper no okay coefficient of viscous no viscosity or viscous friction no? okay then the last one is our m which is equal to mass no okay so the unit for our um the unit for our spring constant no this unit for spring constant is in newton meter no so the unit for spring constant is newton per meter now for the coefficient of uh, viscous friction so the unit for this one is in uh, newton second 
per meter, no? Newton second per meter. Okay, so this one is Newton second per meter. This one is kilogram, or we could say this is equal to. So if we are going to have that one on the uh, the the form or the, the Newton's law, no, of acceleration. So that will be uh, Newton. Newton second squared per meter. Okay, so we have now here the different um, uh, constants, no, or different um, value or property of our mechanical component. Then we will go now to the uh, steps, no. So this is just very simple steps. So first we need to convert, no, or create. So that, so that convert, but create. Okay, so we need to create. A FBD, no FBD or the free body diagram, free body diagram of the system so considering only one mass moving, okay, or in motion so we need to create an FBD free body diagram of the system considering only one mass moving or in motion so from that one you could now get the you could now get the different forces no? okay forces then we could now use the use the law of equilibrium no? equilibrium of forces no? so we, we say the law of equilibrium forces so we need to sum up the forces vertically no? so all all of the algebraic sum of the forces vertically or the, the force acting in the vertical will be equal to uh, will be equal to zero and those uh, forces acting horizontally will be all equal also to zero okay so we need to apply now this um, this concept, no? These steps of ours. So first, we have this example. So find the transfer function of the figure shown. So the transfer function let's be x of s over f of s. Okay. So how are we are going to do that? No solution. So first, we need to create a free body diagram. So this is our mass, so we need to consider this one. So this is M here. So we consider this one as the only one moving, no? Only one moving. So we will have here the uh, diagram of our mass, okay? So this will be M. So this will be the force, no? This will be our F of T. So we will have here, so if this is moving, uh, going to this one, so we have also a force acting opposite it. So the law of equilibrium or the law of reaction. So we will have a force which is equal to the force. No, we call that one as F sub K of T. So for the spring and for the viscous damper, F sub V of T. No? So don't, don't be confused with F sub V with the viscous. Um, uh, they could coefficient of viscous friction so this is just a representation so if we are going to get no to get the the uh, summation of forces no summation of forces uh, horizontal no is equal to zero so we could say that um, the forces f of k f sub k of t, t plus f sub v of t is equal to f of t no? because we have two um, we have two forces going this way and another two forces going this way. So our our equation will be this one, no? Then we will just have this one in terms of forces or in terms of displacement. So for the spring, so force displacement, okay, so going back, so this is force displacement. So that is ki x of t. So we just write this one here as ki x okay. will be key x of t no key x of t 
Now for our viscous damper, okay. So for our viscous damper, so that is the first derivative, no, of our displacement. So f of v dx of t dt. Then this will be f of t, no. Okay. So if we are going to get the uh, the derivative no of both sides of the no the derivative but the Laplace transform of both sides of the equation assuming that they are all equal to uh, zero no equal to zero the initial value no the initial value will be equal to zero so we could have a equation no after getting the first derivative okay. Derivative, no, that the, not the first derivative, but the uh, Laplace transform, no, the last of the Laplace transform of both sides. So maybe we still copy this one also, no, copy here. So x a key x of t plus v f t of x t dt is equal to f of t. So getting the Laplace transform, no, of ho of all of these functions, no, all the equation we have key x of s. So assuming that the initial value is equal to zero, no, because we cannot get the transfer function. Also, one of the requirements of the transfer function is that the initial value is equal to zero. Then plus uh, v of f s x of s um, is equal to f of s. No, so I believe I missed something here. No, let's just see first. Okay, so I don't consider the mass. No. So we need first to consider the mass. No? So mass is also including on this one because the mass will also f of m here. This will be plus f of m. So this will be plus um, m. So that is the second derivative of um, our uh, displacement no? in terms of t. So of course this will be different now because we are considering the mass. Okay. So we we'll have here m d of x t over d t, so the second derivative plus k x of t. So we will have here, so the Laplace of this one is equal to m s squared x of s. Then for this one, k x of s. No, then factoring out our x of s, so we have m s squared plus k plus f of v s no? okay is equal to f of s now this is here x of s okay so getting now the transfer function okay so we have x of s over f of s is equal to 1 over m s uh, m uh, m m s squared no but not m squared s no m s squared then we just follow this one no the next will be f of s uh, f sub b of sub b times s no so our our the exponent of our um term in the denominator is um decreasing no? or descending then the last one will be k no so maybe i'll just transfer this one here so this is what okay so and this is now our transfer function no? this is our transfer so this is the transfer function then we are also if you are going also to create a black diagram no creating a black black diagram okay so our black diagram would look like this one no Okay. So our input, maybe I would write this one another color. Okay, so our input is f of s, no? Okay. So our input is okay. Why am happening to my pen? No? It's not uh, going on the straight line. 
this will be f of s then we have here a block no okay so that'll be one over ms squared plus fps plus k and this will be here our x of s okay so this is now our answer okay so that will be all for the discussion on um, translational mechanical system transfer functions. So I hope you understand something in this video. And as always, enjoy learning.